So Rob, already five seasons here at Wasps, what's made you want to sign up for more? I've really enjoyed my time here at Wasps so far, um, and you know it was a, a decision for me to, to extend my stay. It was part of the, the sort of squad that moved up from, from London up into the Midlands, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed my time here. You've obviously met plenty of people along the way and got plenty of stories, what have been your highlights? Um, I think on the field, certainly the probably one of the sort of first games up here at the Rico. Um, I think we were pretty much a sellout for the first London Irish game, and you know that just sort of set the tone for, for that season. Really, it was uh, it was us moving to a new area, you know, developing a, a new fan base and bringing fans up with us as well from London. So that was a, a good occasion. And then off the field, there's been you know a number of good times we've had with the, with the boys. And you, you're mainly known for your job that you do at fullback, but. How have you been enjoying the role at 10 in the last few weeks? Yeah, it's been good. I've enjoyed my time in there. It's, um, you see the game from a different perspective. You, you know, you really are involved in it and, uh, you know, you've got to take a lot of responsibility, both in attack and defence and then, you know, developing the game plan in the week and, and, and trying to put it out there on the pitch on the weekend. And from the tee, you've nailed nine out of nine. What have you been eating for breakfast? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but I'll hopefully keep it going. Touch wood. It's, uh, you know, my goal kicking is something I've sort of done throughout my career and, and always kind of... Uh, kept my sort of toe in there in, in training and, and doing some some extras with the boys at the end so yeah I'm happy to happy to fill in at that role when needed. Obviously it's been a, a tough few months but we've obviously still got plenty to play for what are the targets now for the rest of the season and beyond? Yeah it has you know we've been on the wrong side of a couple of results and you know at times we haven't really played up to our potential we, we know how good we can be as a group and and that's been the frustrating part you know we've just been a couple of uh, a couple of decisions from you know whether it's on an attack base or just defense base that, that's kind of cost us and it's shown this season especially how tight that league is you know one or two mistakes and, and you can get burnt and you find yourself scrapping and I think now our target is certainly to, to keep looking up. We've got some tough games coming up, but there's no reason why. Certainly with the, you know, the, the international boys back, they've had a good run of games and uh, they'll push us on now for the rest of the season. We'll look to push into that top half of the league and, and challenge towards later on. And finally, off the field, who are your closest friends? Who do you, who do you tend to spend most of your time with? Got quite a good, there's a good northern contingent in there that, that tend to stick together. Um, so Chesty, Kieran and Mile. Hampo, Jammer, and then Simo. We've we've brought Simo in just to give us. Uh, he thinks he, he thinks he's northern, but he's he's not. He's never been this far north in his life. So, yeah, we've got a great bunch of lads across the squad. Everyone gets on really well, and yeah, it's good fun.